Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, very welcome. My name is Eva and today I want to share with you a slightly faster flow to my usual ones. I encourage you to playfully challenge yourself and of course be proud of yourself that you're taking this time for yourself to move, to breathe and to practice. So without further ado, let's get started in a seated position. Once you're there, let's lift the arms up towards the sky, squeeze the fingers into the fist and then open them up. Squeeze, open, really controlled. Squeeze, open, squeeze, open. Let's continue like that. And already start to bring the attention to your breath. So throughout the whole practice, we will try to breathe through the nose, gentle, calm breaths. Few more, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, shake your hands. Let's meet in a tabletop position. Spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes under and then hover your knees above the ground. And over here, let's walk a little bit while we are in this position. If your right hand moves, then your left foot moves, okay? So right hand, left foot at the same time. Left hand, right foot. And we walk forward and then let's walk backwards. And over here, we try to hover the knees above the ground. Check your breath. Let's meet back into the middle of your yoga mat. Lower the knees down, tuck your toes under, tuck the little toes under as well. And then with the inhalation, lift the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the arms, shoulder blades together, spread the fingers wide. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Shake your hands. Let's lower the hands back down once again. Toes are still tucked, lift the knees up and now kick through, right foot will kick to your left, lift the left hand up. Come back into the tabletop, other side. Left foot kicks, right hand lifts. And let's continue like that a few times. While the knees, when we go back into the center, they are hovering above the ground. Few more. And last one to the right side. Come back into the center. Now let's meet in a squat position. In the squat, lower one knee down, push the hips forward, spine twist, look back. Continue other side. One more tap, both sides. Finish with the left knee down. Come back into the center, now let's walk. So we are in the middle of our mat and we will meet in the reverse tabletop position. So lower the hands back behind you. So maybe fingers facing your heels or maybe more open. This might feel nicer for your wrists. And then lift the hips up slightly. And then again, let's walk, same what we did before, just now in a reverse tabletop, left foot, right hand, right foot, left hand. So opposite foot and hand. So we walk forward, we walk back. So with these moves, I really like to not only stay on my mat, but also use the whole room and exploring just the movement, walking around. Come back into the center. Now let's, from reverse tabletop, come into the tabletop position. So perhaps we can, if we turn to the left, you can lift the left foot and we traverse or traverse turn to the left. And now we are in a tabletop. Let's go back with the left foot. So right foot, left hand stays on the ground. We just move the right hand, left foot. Okay, let's try. Come back, 
few more. Come back, last one. Come back. Now let's lift the right foot and left hand and we turn to the right. Let's try that. Again, playfully challenging yourself and not taking this too seriously. So right foot, left hand. Right foot, left hand, turn and go back. Turn and go back. Few more. Last one. And come back. Let's meet back into the squat. And let's meet in a forward fold. So extend your legs, maybe legs slightly bent. Your head is very heavy, relaxed. So the neck is long, the chin is going towards your chest. Maybe you sway to the left and to the right. Come back to the breath, feel your breath. If you are not in the front of a yoga mat, while you are in a forward fold, you can walk forward. So we meet in the front. Bend the knees and with inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the arms by the side of the body. Standing on your left foot, let's lift your right knee up. Extend the right leg and bend. Two more times, extend it. Bend it, last time, extend it, bend it. Warrior three, push your right foot back. Hands of your choice, maybe by the side of the body. If you'd like more intense, extend the arms in front of you. So choose whichever feels nice for you. Let's take a breath over here. Exhale, last one, inhale. And standing splits, lower the hands down, start to lift the right leg up using your right leg muscles take a breath in on the breath out your right knee wants to touch your left ankle bring your right leg back up two more knee to touch come back up last one to touch come back up and now we will meet in a pistol squat right foot pushes forward and we extend into the pistol squat Let's go back into the standing splits, right leg up. Again, pistol squat into the front, standing splits. Last time to the pistol squat, standing splits. High lunge, lower your right foot back. Inhale, both arms are reaching up. Exhale, warrior two. Imagine you want to reach something in front of you and then reverse where your right hand can go back behind you towards your left hip, left arm reaches up and back. Take a breath over here. One more inhale. Exhale, left forearm on the left thigh. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Let's take one more breath and then we will extend the front leg, so left leg and let's meet in the Skandasana Cossack squat, bend the back leg and Cossack squat, maybe we help ourselves with the hands or maybe arms in the air. Take a breath in over here, sorry I'm facing my back to you, inhalation, exhalation. And now let's lift back into the warrior two for a transition and plank pose, hands down, left foot back. Lift the right foot up, right knee to touch your right elbow, go back, right knee to touch your left elbow, go back, right knee to touch your chin, go back. And then let's lower ourselves down, maybe lower the knees or lowering yourself slowly. And with inhalation, lift yourself up. Little back bend, bigger back bend, whichever feels nice. And exhale, downward looking dog. Mm. 
Let's stay here for a couple of breaths, maybe walking your downward looking dog. Moving your hips. Then let's lift the right leg up towards the sky, right foot into the front of the mat, left foot follows, bend the knees and with the inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky, exhale, arms by the side of the body. Let's take a few cycles of breath over here in a standing mountain pose. Last breath in, last breath out. Then standing on your right foot, lift the left knee up, extend the left leg and bend two more times. Extend it, bend it. Last one, extend it, bend it. Warrior three, hands, arms of your choice. Chest is open, shoulder blades can go closer to one or the other. If your arms are by the side, they can, the palms can be facing down to open the chest more. Take a breath and then standing splits, lower the hands down and start to lift the left leg up towards the sky. Then your left knee touches your right ankle and lift it back up. Two more to touch back up, last one to touch, back up, and then pistol squat, so we push the left foot forward, maybe arms in the air for a moment, and then back into the standing splits. Two more, pistol squat, standing splits. Last one, pistol squat, Standing splits and high lunge, left foot back with inhalation, arms are reaching up and warrior two, open up the arms to the side. Imagine you want to reach something in front, reverse warrior, so now the left hand can go towards the right hip, right arm, top arm reaches up and back. Let's stay here for one cycle, one full cycle of breath. Then lower your right forearm down onto your right thigh. Inhale, left arm reaches up. One more breath, doing super, super good. Come out of the pose, Cossack squat, straighten the front leg, start to bend the back leg and meeting in the Cossack squat or Skandasana. If that's comfortable, flex the foot, toes are lifting up. Let's stay here for one more breath. And then let's meet back into the warrior two. So bend the front leg, inhale, hands are reaching down, plank pose. Lift your left foot, left knee to touch your left elbow, bring it back. Left knee to touch your right elbow, bring it back. Left knee to touch your chin, bring it back. And now let's lower ourselves down and little back bend small back bend, bigger back bend, whichever feels nicer for you. One more breath and then downward looking dog. Maybe again walking your downward looking dog. Last breath over here. Let's lift the left leg up 
left foot into the front, right foot follows, bend the knees, with inhalation, sweep the arms up towards the sky, exhale, arms by the side of the body, a few cycles of breath in a standing position, One more breath, exhale, and then super slowly start to lower the hips down, almost as if we're going into the chair pose while we are transitioning down. Slowly, slowly, don't hurry. And then when your bum touches the ground, lower the hips down, and then hug your knees toward your chest, lower your spine back down onto the ground. Maybe we just stay over here or another option is to go into the happy baby so you can grab your ankles or your the outside of your feet. Legs are bent 90 degrees and your tailbone can be still touching the ground. It's quite nice to add a little movement, so rolling to the left, to the right, while we are in a happy baby position. So feeling your breath, coming in and out for the nose. Then let's keep the right knee hugging towards the chest, left leg extend. Then first shuffle your hips to the right, spine twist, right knee, right leg goes to the left. Your right shoulder stays on the ground. So you did super, super well today. Now really take this time, a few moments, just to feel the body more in stillness and at the same time allow your all the muscles to relax and let go any tension. One more breath over here and let's change sides. So now extend the right leg, hug the left knee towards the chest but first actually shovel the hips slightly to the left and then we turn to the right. This might create more space. The left shoulder stays on the ground. Spine twist. One more breath over here. And then come out of the pose and let's meet in the Shavasana. So in the final relaxation position. So with the legs, you can do whatever which feels better for you. Maybe legs bent, knees together, feet wide apart. Maybe feet together, knees wide apart in the butterfly position. Or maybe you extend the legs and they are quite wide. So find a sweet spot for you and then put the hands on top of the belly and let's just take some time to feel how the belly is rising with inhalation and how it's softening. same time allow all the muscles in the body to really soften down into the yoga mat.
let's take one more breath all together inhale through the nose fill the belly exhale if you have your legs bent extend your legs and then extend your arms behind you to stretch your whole body as if you're just walking up maybe wiggle your toes your fingers hug your knees towards your chest and in a very slow motion let's roll to the left or to the right side first your head is very heavy help yourself with the hands to lift yourself into a seated position so we are finished with today's session i hope it felt good i would love to know how you found it in down in the comments if you'd like to support my channel consider subscribing if you haven't done so already you could also buy me a coffee i will put the link down in the description below and i will see you very soon maybe tomorrow for another yoga session